today we are doing things a bit differently. My man Dmogul created two videos which he sent over for me to create custom music for his projects. Hi there, thank you for joining me today. I am Anubis and in this video I am going to be creating custom music for two videos in a collaboration with my man Dmogul. Dmogul is a content creator for photography, video editing, video shooting, and much more. Make sure you head over to his channel. He will be showing his process of shooting and editing the video that we are going to be working on today. All right, so the first project that we are going to be reviewing is called Comex Drip. Let's get down to business. All right, so let's start by checking out the video without any music, and then we will go through the beat breakdown. So this was the first section or cue. Uh, basically, he's pouring down the water. It's a good ter one third of the video. Then we have type of uh, a setup. And the closing. So uh, the setup was uh, definitely the, the longest part. Then the um, the introduction where he's pouring down the water and uh, at the end the the closing was very short so with this i knew i wanted to have something simple simple i did not want to have uh, hard drums or too complex things going on in this one So let's uh, check out the chord progression that I played. So that was the chord progression. And for the introduction, I wanted to have a build up. So I used um, two risers. So that was for the introduction. And for the main section, I introduced a new sound. So it's a flute loop, which I, I chopped up. Let's take a listen. And uh, so this will play with the chord progression. And on top of that, I have added some uh, very rhythmic snare patterns. At the end of this section, it builds up to the next section where I will introduce the 808 drums. So for the 808, I wanted to um, to give it more character. So I did a lot of uh, 808 slides on those. Mm -hmm. 
and then the the last section I wanted the track to kind of slow down and um, and have a nice closing with some elements that I had at the beginning of the track. So, so I kept the same percussion at the beginning and at the end of the track to give it some balance. Now let's listen to the whole thing together with the video. So here I made a couple of arrangements. Let's listen to the full track now. Alright, so for the other video, I wanted to go with an acoustic sound. I wanted to have uh, some acoustic guitar in there. And uh, since I don't play the guitar, I went over to a very good resource, which is noise.com. So it's a website that I am subscribed on where I can grab some samples. So I found very nice uh, acoustic guitar riff that I use uh, to give some rhythm to the track and uh, so this video was a bit longer it was um, a bit over two minutes and uh, I wanted to have a nice riff that would go along play along during the whole video so I found a very nice uh, guitar riff and uh, if you start with the introduction um, I want to start uh, with a boom um, so that uh, we could have a distinctive sound uh, in, t in the introduction and I also added the same uh, type of boom and uh, some chimes at the beginning and at the ending of the track. Let's take a listen to the introduction. So that was the introduction. All right, so for the first sequence, I had uh, this drum track going on.
so I had this going on for the first sequence and then jumping on the second sequence I dropped the drums a bit to create some tension <laughs> up for the other section but I'm not going to spoil the whole track I'm going to let my man uh, Demo go play out the full track with his video on his channel so if you want to uh, listen to the full track and uh, check out the whole video for the second one that we did together you will have to go over to Demo go and watch his video I will leave a link over there to Demo Goal's video so you can check how he did shoot and edit the videos which were sent to me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this content. Uh, if you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe. 